Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And I've got two convoy attacks, basically. Not my preferred type of battle. Um, this is very much going to be a in and out type of affair. Oh, we've got one of the new destroyers. Lovely. Good to see them in action. In action. Sorry, I've got hiccups somehow. Oh, in fact, we've got we've got three of them. Nice. Uh. So the plan here is to uh, bypass the escort cruiser as best we can and hit the transports. There it is. All right, we're going to split. One group's going to go north, the other group's going to go south. See them beyond. Ow. Get out. No, 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 no. Retreat. That's the problem with destroyers is they just really don't take a hit, these ones. the uh, Rasto will get out. But, I mean, that is why I have been building more destroyers. Um, right, torpedoes off. Whoa! Transports with torpedo launchers. Oh, that's a fun trick. Sneaky little torpedo launchers. <laughs> and guns as well. Does make it a lot more interesting attacking a convoy. Uh, I'm just going to detach the Cuscoim. away at the remaining transports. Of course, putting guns on them does make them more explosive.
done. And the battle. <laughs> yeah, losing two destroyers, they are the older style ones, but that is annoying. I lost both of them. Really not a fan of destroyer squadrons acting on their own like that. They really should go out with something a little bit heavier. Like in this example. Um, because, yeah, a cruiser can, can mess them up. Uh, the new destroyers, though, seem to be a lot more effective. Which is good. Myself not to get too close to those Austro Hungarian cruisers. Is that a destroyer? Yeah, a couple of destroyers. Interesting. around. Yeah, there's a transport. You can hit the DDs. Still, for some reason. I'm going to have to dodge to avoid torpedoes again. Sink the uh, escorts, but I do want the torpedo threat gone. The Carl is more or less out of um, ammunition, so I think we should start focusing on the transport so the destroyers are doing that by themselves. That's good. Yeah, they're shredding the uh, transports very nicely.
turn into run. Not always easy to tell with the AI. What they're up to. But yeah, I think she's running. Give some HE, would you? Set a bunch of fires. Right, now you can go back to AP if you want. You eventually flooding I find our own torpedoes. <laughs> Very optimistic attack, I would say. It's causing them to turn in an interesting... to prevent them from turning their stern to me. Which means I can come up alongside them and then we can just blast them apart. There we go. Torpedo's doing the job, but in a slightly different way. Yeah, you don't have really have anything. We'll talk. <laughs> and, yeah, look at this. I put my fleet right here to try and force the Japanese to fight me, and they're just not doing it. Don't bother with task forces, children. Just, just leave your ships in port. Task forces... Ooh, they, they, they... I am hopeful that the 1.10 kind of mission ring thing works I just I just uh, I want if it does work extend it like put give give you know give the player a, a guarantee that if you move your task force into the ring of an enemy task force then you get to get an engage I think that would be a I think that would be a good way to go about it let's see now Get a mission. Because, I mean, I can see the Chinese... Are, uh, the, the Japanese are fighting. It's just they're, they're fighting the Chinese or the Americans rather than me. And I'm not getting dragged into it. So, yeah, I don't... I don't get ever, ever get to, to fight them. Which is sad. Updating missions... Still, uh, this is why I don't <laughs> normally record the end of turns because it's like, ah, uh, has the game crashed? Uh, probably has. I'll cut it here. I'll be back when it's fixed. Uh, welcome back. I got a weird um, thing saying I'm at peace, but I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to check the politics screen. At any rate, um, we we've found another convoy to go and attack. Uh, the standard has really been uh, having a lot of <laughs> success with this. Um, she's really been oh Jesus! In fact, you know what? I don't care about you. You two. 
just we can do this with just the ships we have. Um, she has been really effective in that role. Again, nice to see one of the newer destroyers. The terror of the Mediterranean. Well, the Adriatic at any rate. And they got two cruisers this time. Maybe I will bring in the other ships. Well, they might be slow, but I think the transports are right there. Oh, what's that out in front? Oh, yeah, that's the cruisers. Okay. They're going to be annoying, aren't they? They're going to be annoying. They're going to fire a load of torpedoes at me. I'm going to try and kill my destroyer. Leave my destroyer alone! So rude. This is torpedo spam. Just don't appreciate it. What I do appreciate is killing transports. No, god damn it. <laughs> Fucking destroyers. Yeah, I, well, I was. Eventually, you just start to feel that destroyers are <laughs> disposable uh, in this game because they, they die all the time. why I tend not to build too many of them um, but I, I love destroyers like I love I think they're a really cool little ship um, it's just sad that yeah we've lost one already <laughs> and you end up being like well I might as well just use freaking heavy cruisers because at least a heavy cruiser can take a hit And then you start thinking, oh, I could just use battle cruisers. And then you end up with an all uh, battle battleship fleet, <laughs> or battle cruiser fleet, uh, which I have done before. Um, uh, if you search up nothing but hood, you'll find a, a campaign where I literally had one ship, and it was basically the HMS hood, um, and that was it. And it did very well. <laughs> Not so much in 109, because you've got submarines and mines and this kind of thing, but... So you do need destroyers. It's just... Yeah. When... If an enemy heavy cruiser decides it doesn't like your destroyer, then... Well, you're probably going to lose it. At least if the AI is halfway... Sensible and has actually put... Um, some money into crew training.
Come on. Get the new one finished off. Good, just series of hits on it. She's running. Too close, or the penetration will fall off. Just totally counterintuitive, but there you go. More flooding. Oh, yes! Ammo debt taking out an engine room. Leave uh, you one alone for a little bit. Let her damage take hold a bit. See if we can knock the U4 down a little bit. Where are the others? Uh, all the way over here. Of course. Because I haven't been keeping an eye on them. That's 700 damage. Fuck off with that shit. 400 damage. How? How are they doing so much damage with their shots? It's just stupid. Oh, super heavy. Semi AP shell, but fuck's sake. Get the other ships back to help her. No, she's going to sink. I can just tell. Yep. Just when the AI get has just decides to fuck you over, it just will. I'm going to end the battle there. That is a loss. Straight up, pure loss. Um, even though it says a victory, because... Oh, I was an idiot. And then the AI is like, no, nah, fuck you. And it's things like that that really start to piss you off. And it does happen later in the game. Like, look, we're into the 30s now. And the AO starts running bullshit. <laughs> that have turtle back. Um, so they can shrug off hits all day long. And even though they have crap guns with crap pin, eventually they'll get through. And then massive damage. And then you immediately sink. It's... It, it is... It gets frustrating. So yeah, I'm starting to get that that stage in the campaign where basically I'm, I'm looking... I think... I think once our wars are finished, so we're currently at war with Austria and Japan and we're probably going to be at war with the US in a minute. Um, I think once all of those are done... I'm going to end the campaign, but uh, not just yet. Just going to end the episode for now. And hopefully I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.